Well, the new lathe has arrived. Unfortunately, it looks like they've had a go with a forklift through the side of it. But we'll unbox it and see what it looks like. What do we got? The base. Some foam packaging. Toolbox of, no doubt, poor quality tools. Oh, and it looks like it might have missed. But there she is. Got the lathe up on the bench. This is what you get for 1500 Aussie, or what is that, a thousand less than that in the US. A couple of bolts that actually hold it to the pallet come out. Obviously, you may use those to bolt it down. Got two extra ones just floating around on the bottom of the pallet. No idea what that's for. Uh, thankfully, it looks like the pallet jacks have missed the end. They've gone through like there, so so far so good you get a manual and a fuse and then a box of stuff oiler more wheels gears i should say looks like we've got stuff for the chuck to for the outside side of the chuck chuck keys some Pretty dodgy looking. Yep, they've got the funny smell about them. Various random spanners. Look at the casting on that. I'd be ashamed if I did that. Anyway, beggars can't be choosers. Some tools. Tooling, I should say. Some Allen keys in this little box here ah, a pointy bit for the for the dead center there we go that makes more sense Comes with the steady rest. It's nice. What else have we got in here? Ah, handles. I'll go on there, I'm, I'm guessing. Put those on in a bit. Yep, there's the other one. And there it all is. Guess it's going to be time to strip it down and clean it up. There's a uh, light oil and grease over everything. Actually, it's just a light oil. But you can also see machining muck and dirt all over it. Um, as backlash goes, that's fine, isn't it? What's that? Go to zero. Probably one point one point uh, point six mil or something like that. No, over a mil. Nice. One point two mil. Hardly any at all. What about this one? That one's a bit a bit tighter, but it doesn't move particularly smoothly on that. Oh, that's grinding on something. That one seems to move a bit more smoothly. All right, let's have a look at the gears on this thing, see how it's set up. It's a nicer looking cover than most you see on the internet. Can I get it off one-handed? Yes, I can. Ah. That's all nice and neat. It doesn't look like there's a drop of lubrication on any of it though. Okay, let's see if it spins. Forward. On. Oh, some relay clicked. Spinning. Don't know if it's spinning true, but it certainly spins. 